So let's jump over to the whiteboard. We'll talk, let's talk about the wells and the graphs briefly. Um, let's see, that's the stuff you're going to actually do that before you start vectorizing your um, your values. So you're going to you're going to do wells and graphs while you're still in grid view. Okay, so let's jump to the whiteboard and talk a little bit about that. Questions so far before we, or as we're doing that, I should say. Okay. Okay, so much of the stuff you'll be doing with the wells and grass is gonna be the same as what you did in the steady state problem. So, um, I guess first thing is find the location. It's exactly the same as what you did in the steady state problem. So I'm not going to go over that part. Now we need to calculate what we're actually doing with our wells. So um, we got to convert uh, Q neighbor, Q mat to cubic meters per day. I believe it's in gallons per day already. So. Again, you already have this conversion. You did it in your steady state problem. So um, just go grab that conversion and do it again. Once these are converted, now we need to calculate the number we're actually going to use for it. So I'm going to say calculate value. So your well value for either of them, I'll just say well for the well value, that's going to be equal to, you're going to take your Q, you're going to multiply it by delta T, you're also going to multiply it by the well attenuation, I'll call that omega, and then you'll divide this by specific storage, and then the area of the well, which is pi times uh, the diameter of the well times the aquifer thickness. So much of this is stuff you've seen, this part of it. So the Q and the area, this is what you were using in your steady state problem. So basically, we could rewrite it. I'll rewrite it like this. You have your Q over pi dB. That's the uh, pumping rate divided by the area like we used in our steady state problem. Um, you're going to multiply that number by delta T times your well attenuation divided by specific storage. Well attenuation. To make that look a little more like an omega. This is a value that you receive in your um, in your input file. It's just a multiplier. It's a if you want to try to give it a physical meaning, it's going to be the ratio of the actual well screen size, slot size that the water can pass through in the well bore to get into the pump. So it's a property of your actual well construction materials and equipment. 
the truth of the matter is it's a number that makes your um, makes your system run at a reasonable speed. So this is found in your data file. So it's given, long story short. Okay, so that's how you calculate the value for a well uh, for the grass. Again, your grass, you'll have to apply this value on all 64 grid squares for the grass. But your grass value is going to be equal to uh, the neighbor's queue. Not including any of this other stuff, just the neighbor's queue converted to cubic meters per day, uh, multiplied by delta t. Uh, let's go back. So it'd be just like in your um, steady state project, neighbor's queue divided by 6,400, multiplied by 2%. Sorry, let's write this better here. So 0 0.02 or 2% times the neighbor's Q divided by the area, 6,400, and then multiplied by delta T over SS. So again, you've got stuff you used in the first project, just multiplied by delta T over SS. That's your G value for your grass. Again, apply this to all 64 uh, grass grid squares. Okay. That's how we calculate our values. Now to place them in your um, in your setup. You're gonna do this. before you vectorize H into the B matrix. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to the equations again. Is that what I wanna do? Yes, okay. Okay, so um, this is our B matrix side of the equation here. So you've got your QIO over A. In the case of the well, that's, say, for the neighbor's well, that's uh, Q neighbor converted to cubic meters per day multiplied by the well attenuation then divided by the area by db, then multiplied by delta t over ss. So that's this whole set up here. Now notice that value. This is our. This will be your well value or your grass value here. This delta t over ss qio over a. That's the thing we just talked about calculating. Now notice that's just directly added to hij old. So it's hij old plus your well or your grass value. Now, in most locations, your well or your grass value is going to be zero. So it's just HIJ old, so we don't have to worry about it. But in those locations where we have a well or we have grass, then um, that's just added to HIJ old. See, that's what our equation says right here. So before you even vectorize anything or convert it, just take your well value and add it to the H at that same location. 
So back to the whiteboard. So before you vectorize h, just take that h value wherever your well is supposed to be. So we can call this um, h w for h well. That's going to be whatever that location is, the ij value. So for Matt's well, it would be 24, 22. So you're going to take that value, H2422. 22, and for a well, you'll subtract everything that we calculated upstairs here. So it'll be subtract um, Q mat divided by pi. D, B, multiplied by uh, whoops, 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 sorry. There you go. Multiplied by uh, Delta T times the well well attenuation divided by specific storage. So that's for a well. For the grass. Of H in our grass area equals H in our grass area. You'll have to do this for each of the locations again. For the grass, it'll be added here instead. So it'll be um, 0 0.02 times the neighbor's well times delta T divided by the area 6400 multiplied by SS. So you do this before you vectorize H into B. On the code primer, I've pointed out where that should get done. But you're putting it in H this time instead of B. So in the steady state project, you put everything into B. In this project, you put it in H instead. And then it, 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 still, it still ends up in B. When you vectorize H into B, all this goes into B. But this is an easier way to put it in there, because now you don't have to figure out what row in B it goes in. You just figure out where it goes in H, put it in H, and then vectorize H. OK. So that's the wells. <clears throat> 